Hey, what's up? It's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com, and in this video, we're going to go over some basic settings for your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. These are some settings that you want to set up before you start building sites or funnels or anything like that, because once you get into actually building stuff, you don't want to have to go back and change your domain or change your email addresses and all that stuff because it just causes a headache. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our domain. We'll set up some email stuff, our marketing settings. We'll look at some settings and we'll also go into the payment processor. So we'll handle those things and then we can start building funnels and stuff like that. So first things first, let's go ahead and set up our domain. So that is under sites right here. And then down at the bottom on the left hand side, we see domain. So we'll go ahead and click into that. And you can see that ClickFunnels did give us a domain of our own. So you could use this to run your site off of. If I went to crazymedia.clickfunnels.com, well then it would load up my website. But we wanna use our own custom domain. So I bought a domain over here through Namecheap that I'm going to go ahead and connect to my ClickFunnels account. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and do connect an existing domain. And also you can see the option right there to buy a domain. So if you wanna buy a domain through ClickFunnels, you can do that as well. But I think Namecheap or other domain registrars are probably cheaper. And then also you have control over it and Namecheap and it's not in ClickFunnels. So I probably recommend going through a different registrar. All right, so then it's asking us for a domain. So I have crazyamedia.com that I'm gonna go ahead and use. And it also asks us to include a subdomain. So what a subdomain is, it's the letters ahead of your domain. So crazyamedia.com is my domain, but if I put www, that's my subdomain. So I want to go ahead and put in www for my domain, so that way people go to www.crazyamedia.com, or even if they went to crazyamedia.com, it should forward to www.crazyamedia.com. Dot com and there'll be redirect settings in just a second that you'll see now if you already have a site like you already have crazyonmedia.com and there's a functioning website on it a blog or something like that and you don't want to write over that website then you could go ahead and do something else so you could put like shop right here so then your funnels and everything would be at shop.crazyonmedia.com so there's a couple different options here what you can do since i'm using my root domain as my site i'm just going to put in the www here but you could put something else pretty much anything else you would want right there i'm gonna go ahead and click on continue now and so enter the domain with that okay yep registered with namecheap so that's my correct information i'll click add domain and let's get started setting up your domain we've made setting up your domain even easier click on the start domain setup button below to connect your domain you can also set up your domain manually by clicking here so i'm going to do the automatic option it's worked on several domain registrars i've used already so it makes it easier but if for whatever reason you're unable to do this automated method you could go ahead and manually do it basically you're just going to update some dns settings within your domain registrar to point to click funnels also right here there's this optional redirect crazyimedia.com to www.crazyimedia.com since i'm using the www subdomain i want to go ahead and leave this turned on however if you were using like shop.crazyimedia.com then you would want to turn this off because if you left this turned on, then if somebody went to crazyimedia.com, it would automatically forward them to shop.crazyimedia.com. And you might not want that, especially if you already have a website on crazyimedia.com. So depending on what your subdomain is, if it's www, you probably want to leave this turned on. If it's anything other than that, because you already have a website, then you want to go ahead and turn this option off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do start domain setup right here. ClickFunnels needs to connect to my website, so I'll go ahead. And here's a list of all the domain registrars that work with ClickFunnels, so a very exhaustive list. I'm gonna go ahead and search for Namecheap. And there's mine right there. So then I need to go ahead and log in to my Namecheap account. And now it's setting up my domain and applying the various settings and it's almost done. And I actually got an error going through the automated method and this is kind of good. This way you can see the automated method, like if it worked, like it would have been done. But now we can go ahead and do it manually so you can see what that process looks like if you happen to get the same error or your domain registrar doesn't work with ClickFunnels. So I'm gonna go ahead and do manual setup right here. And so it tells me what I need to go ahead and change. So I'm gonna come over to my Namecheap account and I need to go ahead and change my name servers. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to the Namecheap Basic DNS and check that box. Now, if you have a different domain registrar, you might have a little bit different options, but the concept remains the same of what we are trying to accomplish. Now I wanna go ahead and go to Advanced DNS right here and I need to go ahead and update my domain records. So right here, I need to go ahead, I have a C name 
and the www, so I'm gonna copy, well, I don't need to copy www, I can type that, but I wanna copy the requ required value, and I'm gonna go, there's already a C name record in here for www, I need to go ahead and update the value though. So I'm gonna place that in there, and click check, and then I'm gonna come back over here, and I have two text records, so I need to add those. So I have to add a new record right here. And I'm going to look for TXT. I think it's text. It might be something else. I always say text. So there's an at, and then I have this value here. So we'll go ahead and throw an at. And then this value right here. And we'll click OK. And I wonder, can I make this automatic? I'll make that one automatic too. I'm not sure what that does necessarily. But we got to add another text record or TXT record. And it's this value here. So I'll paste that in there, and then I'll go ahead and copy this and paste it over here as well. And then we'll come back over to ClickFunnels, and it's yelling at me because I did not copy this at sign, so I'll copy that. And then I'll go ahead and do I've added my records. We're all set. And so now www.crazyoutmedia.com will be successfully connected. I'll click done now. And now it is waiting on confirmation that my domain has set up completely or successfully. It does take about 24 to 48 hours, or it can take up to that amount of time. Usually it takes maybe an hour maximum, but anyway, it could take longer, but we don't have to wait in order to move on to the next steps in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and click validate ownership real quick, see if that does anything. And I get a message, unable to verify ownership may still be propagating, so I didn't wait long enough, so that's fine. We'll come back here in a little while and check out our domain and see if it's done. Up next, we wanna to come to marketing though, and we wanna go ahead and set up our email settings, so that way we can go ahead and send emails as part of our funnels. And there's lots of other automation tools within ClickFunnels that are very cool, and I'll cover them in other videos, but we need to go ahead and make sure this stuff is set up first before we go ahead and be able to send email. So it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna plug in all of the information that it asked for right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick. And we need to add a footer for unsubscribe. So click here to unsubscribe. Now hide powered by branding. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I don't really feel like advertising ClickFunnels. Now, if I was an affiliate marketer trying to sell ClickFunnels, then maybe it makes sense to have a powered by ClickFunnels badge in my emails. But if I'm trying to sell dog toys or something like that, it doesn't make sense to advertise your ClickFunnels badge. And then we have our company email addresses, and I'm gonna come back to this in just a second. For now, we're gonna go ahead and click on save. And then we wanna come over to email addresses up here at the top. And we wanna go ahead and add in our company email address. So I'll do add email address right here. And this will be my nickname for the email address. So I'm just gonna say Nathan, but you could call it you know, main or support or something like that. And then the name, this will be the name that will show up in people's inbox when I send the email. So Nathan with Crazy uh, Media, and then my username, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in Nathan. And so my Nathan at crazyoutmedia.com email address will be the main email address that I'm sending emails from. Now obviously it might make sense to not use your personal email address in these automated marketing emails. So you might wanna have a different email box for your marketing emails. And so you would put a different name in there. But since this is, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and use my name. So we'll go ahead and add an email address. And then I wanna come back to general settings right here and we'll scroll on down. And now I'll go ahead and select my Nathan with Crazy Eye Media email address right here for all these options. Now, if you can tell, so these options, so there's a from address and then a reply to address. So you can have two different addresses here. This would be where the email came from, but if somebody clicked reply on the email, it would go to a different inbox. So if you're connected to like a support ticket desk or something like that, you go ahead and plug that address in there for the reply. So that way the replies go to like a support email versus they came from, you know, this email here. And then marketing email address is for the marketing emails you send versus these emails right here are like for product access and stuff like that. So you might have two different email addresses depending on if you want to separate out product delivery emails or and your marketing emails. So just some things to think about as you're setting this up. So the next thing we wanna go ahead and do is come over to DKIM keys. And this is how you basically connect your domain and your email addresses to ClickFunnels. Now, since I manually set up my domain, it's already configured for me. However, if you see instructions right here that say that you need to update your DNS records, like you would go in and just like I added my records right here, you would have to go ahead and add a couple of TXT records to your domain registrar and their DNS settings right here. And once you're all done, you should see, you know, that your DNS record is verified. And so that's it for marketing settings. I'm gonna go back to domain real quick because this is a green check. So I wonder if my domain verified. I'm gonna come back to sites. 
and domains. And I can see that it's showing my address as connected. I'm gonna go ahead and click into it real quick. And I see a status that everything looks good and healthy. So awesome, it looks like my domain is all connected properly. So the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is set up your payments processor. Now ClickFunnels 2.0 uses Payments AI, which is a third party tool, but I think ClickFunnels owns it or something like that. Anyway, it takes quite a bit of time to set up. It asks for like your driver's license and like a utility bill and all this type of information in order to set up your account. So it's kind of invasive. However, it is pretty cool because it does let you connect to like Stripe and PayPal, Coinbase, Klarna, NMI, or the Payments AI gateway as well. And it helps you keep everything straight and organized. So even though it's a hassle to set up, once you get it connected and everything, all your customer information pops up right in this dashboard and it's very easy to use and control and stuff like that. So what you wanna go ahead and do is set up your payments AI account and then go ahead and connect to like Stripe at the very least. So that way you can go ahead and start taking payments on your website. So I'm gonna come back over here and click on Payments AI. And since I already have an account, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that I want to join this organization. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept these conditions and all that other stuff, and next step. And so there we go, I'm now in my Payments AI account. So simple enough to connect them. It just takes a little bit of effort to get the Payments AI account actually set up. And then you wanna make sure that you connect to at least Stripe, I would say, for your gateway. All right, coming back out here, I want to cover one last thing in this video, which is settings down here. And so there's a few different settings you could go ahead and edit. Like if you don't like the name of your workspace, so mine's Crazy Eye Media, you could go ahead and change it within the settings section. You can also go ahead and upload a workspace logo icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and select an image and I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image and I'll go ahead and select this one right here and I'll click on update workspace. Now scrolling on down, you can go ahead and select the payment settings. So you have credit card as a default and there are some other notes over here. So set up payment method types and the currencies you'll accept. To view additional currency options, please visit PAI, so the Payments AI app where you can choose your preferred currency. So if you don't wanna do USD, you'd have to go to the Payments AI app and change your settings in there. Your order format, so your prefix and your suffix if you want to change how your orders come out. And then there's also team settings, so if you want to add new members to your team so they could come into your ClickFunnels account and depending on the permissions that you give them, they could go ahead and build funnels or reply to customer inquiries or set up automations and stuff like that. So I'll have another video on team settings that you could look out for if that's something that is interesting to you. I also wanna point out that collaborators right here is quite similar to the team settings. So a couple different places you could go ahead and edit your team come into notifications right here. So here's where we get a summary of everything that has happened so far. So I can see that I was granted access to my own workspace. Then there is a theme installed and we'll talk about themes in another video. Our email settings, our domain settings, our payments AI settings. So all that stuff is going through. We have billing right here. So if you want to go ahead and update your personal account, like if you want to change your membership or cancel your membership, you could go ahead and do that. You can also see the courses and downloads that you've purchased through ClickFunnels here. Also, you have your payment methods, addresses, and phone number information as well. So if you want to go ahead and look at that or update it, you can go ahead and do it within your account. Also, there's other information like your affiliate center, your community, your learning hub, and so on. So other options within this area that you might want to check out. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. And again, that was under billing. There's shipping and locations. I'll have another video on shipping assets. So this is where you would upload all your files. So I just have that one logo right now, but any sort of file that you upload, whether it's an image, or you can also upload full videos, downloads, audios, fonts, and so on. So lots of lots of storage space for your files. You can upload long video files if you want to, which is pretty cool. They'll host them for you. Integration, so this is where you can integrate with third-party tools like Active Campaign or another automation autoresponder if you want to do something like that. Like you don't want to use ClickFunnels automation tools, you can go ahead and connect to third-party tools right here. And then we have styles and themes which will involve another video, so be on the lookout for that. Finally, we have system emails right here. So this is when individuals take certain actions within your funnels or your site or your community center and so on. So referred sale notification or new affiliate welcome email. These are the emails if people unenroll from courses or get access to courses or modules and all that other type of stuff. So if you wanna change how your emails look, you know, when somebody enrolls in a course, then this is where you would go to update that email template. And same concept with orders and community and so on. 
And so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to go over some of the main settings that you want to get in place before you start building your site and your funnels and your automations and all that other stuff because it's just a lot simpler when these main things are set up beforehand. And I have a lot more ClickFunnels 2.0 videos, so if I didn't cover something in this video, just look through my channel. And if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please head over to crazyeyemarketing.com for more information. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.